Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... Why don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hellride. Is this different than the one you have at shop class? Uh, no. But this time it's just the three of us. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is one of a kind. As are you, Robbie. Uh, thanks, Hunter. You always make me feel like... I don't know. Like I'm part of this whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Nico and the rest of the sons like family. But... Well... Sometimes I feel more like... Invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not. But I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old spirit of vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yep, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. If luck is with us, you will not have to carry the parchment for long. I can carry it for as long as necessary. However long Blaze had it, I can keep it for as long or longer. I did not mean to imply you did not have what it takes. But I do have what it takes. And I don't need luck. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie... I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself. 
and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. The forces of the parchment and the Darkhold are not to be trifled with, Robbie. You cannot expect to read the page the way you would a normal book. Oh boy, here we go. More of that. This is beyond you, Robbie. I've been hearing this junk since I asked to see my first R-rated movie as a kid. Guess what? I snuck into those movies, and I can sneak a peek at the parchment. Trust me. This is not the same as childhood misbehavior. You are gambling not just with your life, but the lives of all those who love you. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. Do you remember the bells, kiddo? When you were young. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus-pocus mumbo-jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the dark? I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. Oh, hey. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm gonna turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Well, Tony, you are a bit competitive. I would not blame him for becoming a bit territorial as a result. Aw, oh, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, is there? I do not think Strange sees it as friendly. Well, when he comes back, I'll try to smile bigger. Maybe that'll give him a hint. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Uh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later, and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchment isn't going to blow itself up. I'm quite pleased with these results. You want the magic highlights, Tony? Highlight.
Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? I'm pretty sure Charlie left his skin in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Even a sorcerer... Time to take it to the next level. can be Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Good addition. Now let's get to work. Later. You wanted it? You got it. If we had some rookies, I'd say send them out for the experience. But I think we're past that. Bye. Hi, kiddo. I wouldn't have thought so, but it's good to hear those bells again after all this time. As hard as Sarah tried to keep you out of the tower. You always found your way back in, just in time to wake her up at the crack of dawn. We need to take that monster out. Don't be swayed by her words. We hear you.
How invigorating. Their time is short. You had your chance to escape. Who's next? I am impressed. Let's do this! Trifling creature! Looks like they still want a piece. Time to show him who's in charge here. The light will carry you onward. I needed that.
About the emo kids meeting, there's a problem. Wanda asked to run the show, everyone was fine with it, until Caretaker showed up. Sarah taking control. How surprising. I don't blame her. Wanda's magic killed Agatha. It's hard to let that go. Why are we meeting? I thought we already knew how I died. Wanda doesn't think we do, and I believe her. So, you ready to head to the meeting and hear her out? Lead the way. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have brought it up. I disagree. Your theory is sound. We must know the truth. Wanda already took Agatha from me. I'll be damned if I let her take my child. The one standing behind you? Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean for you to hear that. I understand why you said it. What is this about? It's not worth your time to know. Please, tell me. Wanda says there is more to your death than what we saw. She claims she can reveal the true manner of your death. It cannot hurt to try her suggestion. It absolutely can. Her magic is chaotic. She could lose control and kill everyone. Good thing you are here to help her. Help her? After what she did? Who better than you? Hmm. All right. Listen to her if you must. But if you proceed with the ritual... I can't lose you, Hunter. Not again. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just wanted to help. How? I spoke with Doctor Strange about your visions. That got me thinking. The last meeting, specifically the moment of your death, I don't think that's where your life ended. The last time we did this, something felt off. Good, you felt it too. There is a subtle magic at play. It clouds your perception, distracts from what is real. Why are you so certain? I felt it twice before. Most recently, when I was under Lilith's influence. And the first time? <sighs> when I killed Agatha. I had no warning I'd lost control until it was over. Something masked the danger from me, from her. It was not your fault. No matter what Ileana wants to believe, I am responsible for Agatha's death. I can never make it up to the Midnight Suns, to Sarah, to you. But I will do everything I can to make things right. My magic works by creating what I most desire. It can also strip what is illusion from what is real. You deserve to know what truly happened. Please, allow me to help you. I am ready to proceed. All right. What is your last memory before your death? Lilith trapped me with the Darkhold. I could not move. Then I shall remove the veil. And now, your death is revealed. What do you see? Lilith approaches. I have never seen her so determined. And now, child, you shall be free. Still creepy. Indeed. I cannot move. Yet I hear myself shout. <laughs> what the? My body lurches toward her. None of it my doing. <sighs> Lilith struggles against her own limbs, but cannot control them. My hand reaches for the dark hold. I see fear 
blossom in my mother's eyes. I touch the dark hold. No! Stay Pain back! washes over us both. The world flares white. And then... There is nothing. Okay, what is with that voice? And who directed the hunter's movements? Someone who could hold Lilith in place. That's alarming. I'm sorry. There's nothing more. That's when the hunter died. Don't apologize. You showed us what we could not see. I don't know what to think. Was someone else there, and did they kill Lilith? Those are difficult questions to answer. At least we know to ask them. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We're emo kids. We can do anything. I think that's it. You leaving? That is it for me. The last meeting of emo kids. Should we get another t-shirt? I kind of want another t-shirt. Or, ooh, maybe a pin. I'll figure it out. Thanks for letting us root around in your past, Hunter. What shall we chat about? Tension's so thick I could claw it to shreds. Something... or someone... is going to snap. Did you hear Tony and Strange argue? What inspired you to toss your shield around? Did Tony put you up to this? No. Why? He's been asking for years. So you will not tell me? I will, if you promise not to tell Tony. I will never tell. Okay. When I grew up in Brooklyn, I'd always see those old men playing bocce in the park. They could put all kinds of spin on those bocce balls. A few of them even taught me how to do it. So old men in the park taught you how to toss your shield? Yeah, in a way. And a few other things. Like what? To never back down. No matter how far behind you seem to be. Let's do it again. Hunter, it was a pleasure to spend some downtime with you. The universe never ceases to amaze me, and I've seen more than just Earth. one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? My family saved me. It was the coward Blaze that sold me out. Perhaps. Still, Blaze is no coward, and he is most certainly not a friend to Mephisto. For him to have made such a deal, 
All the more reason I must have the page. I knew you were going to go there. Hear me, child. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on the mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You are right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning, and Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. I hope the others slept better than I did. <laughs>